So if you're considering live streaming specifically on a Mac, I couldn't more highly recommend Ecamm Live. So whether you're seeing any of my live streams or this is a software that's being recommended to you and you're new to this, you're probably going to be looking at the standard or the pro account and which one should you get. Ecamm Live has a ton of benefits and features that you can get, whether it's me doing this in real time, by the way, bringing up comments on the screen, bringing up slides if you're doing presentations, or even being able to share your phone, play videos in real time. And all of this you can do on a recorded video like I'm doing inside of Ecamm Live right now, or even on a live stream. So that is going to bring up which one has all the features that you would possibly want or could use. Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the standard on all the features that come with it, what those look like versus the pro account, which only has one thing that I think absolutely would be the reason you absolutely should get that one. But we're going to be talking about it and doing a quick breakdown here right now. So when it comes to live streaming, I absolutely believe Ecamm Live is the best software, especially for Mac. I don't think anything beats it. Even the most expensive softwares still don't make the ease of use just like Ecamm Live does. And there also be other videos that will be in this playlist specifically for Ecamm Live. So you can check that out up above. So let's talk about like the standard versus the pro account. Both have stellar features. So let's do a quick breakdown of what's included, what that entails, why I really think you should get the pro account and not just because it's more expensive, but because I think it'll give you more bang for your buck, spoiler alert. <laughs> but, uh, but when it comes to like live streaming, let's break down what's actually in there. What does that stuff do? Or what does it even mean? And is the pro account actually even worth it for you? Um, and if you'll need some of the stuff in there or not, and can you just get by with the standard? So let's jump in. So when it comes to wondering if you're going to get the standard or the pro account and what all goes into one versus the other, we're going to go over to the website so we can break down what some of those features are. And you know, if pro is honestly even worth it for you, for your use cases and what you'll be doing most of the time, uh, and then the price breakdowns and some of that different stuff. So let's hop over to uh, Ecamm Live. So uh, what the website is showing here, which you can go to Dyna, uh, dot link forward slash Ecamm Live if you want to check this out. Um, this will give you the trial. Now the trial is for 14 days and it'll give you access to the full standard and pro account as well. But if you're not sure what one does versus the other, you won't really know if this is a pro based feature or not uh, when you're in the trial. So let's break that down. So obviously with the standard account, you're getting no Ecamm live watermark. So you'll get a clean video feed like you're seeing with mine. Unless I put my own specific watermark, there is none. Um, so you'll get unlimited streaming to all platforms that you want. Multi streaming versus restream.io or switchboard. You get custom overlays and branding, which again, like I said, I can add my own watermark um, if I choose to. And then you get screen sharing with picture in picture, which is what you're seeing right now, which is me on the screen. All of this is being done and recorded inside Ecamm Live. I don't have to stream and then hide it. They actually have a record feature, which is pretty cool, uh, which again, automatic high quality recording. So even if this was a live stream, I'd be able to keep a recording automatically saved immediately on my computer. There's no rendering or anything like that. So while YouTube may be processing the stream after the fact, Ecamm Live is, is good to go. And you can have that video chopped up, ready for micro content that same day. So in at in app comment stream. So what that is, is let's jump back over to me full screen is that when you get comments in the middle of a live stream, and this is pulled uh, from my last live stream, you'll be able to go ahead and add this up on the screen. So like this was Carlos at Mathematica Humanista, his channel, uh, and he does a lot of live streaming on Facebook and such. So hello, Carlos, if you're watching this, but he was just getting like a little praise emoji, a little heart based on something that I was saying. And so this lets me bring this up from the comments in real time. And I could move this around if I wanted to, or I could make this smaller or larger. So I tend to kind of have mines right here uh, across the board, and then you can remove those if you want. So that's what that feature is specifically referencing. Now, when you go back over here to the other one, um, it gets the green screen feature, which I don't do green screen, green screen live streaming, man, that's like a tongue twister. I don't do that uh, uh, at all, but if you're into green screen <laughs> and stuff like that, then that's a feature that they just recent, well, not recently added, it's been in development for some time and they just continue to make it better. Uh, I wanna see if I could pull uh, up some of these different settings and I can kind of show you, but again, it's not green behind me. 
So you really won't be able to see that all that well. But basically, uh, once you add on the green screen, then you can select some of the different backdrops that they have. And this will look weird because I'm just going to fade in what the, some of the built in green screen effects that they have. And so you'll see some of the green areas or blue areas. But now let's just go ahead and fade it in, which kind of looks a little bit weird. But they have video backgrounds. You have a castle you have, <laughs> which again, it looks weird because I'm not green, nor do I have one behind me a home office. Um, they have a bunch of different stuff in here from video green screens or whatever, even just like a random white wall or brick wall, but let's turn that off because now it's looking a little weird. But it gives you the ability to do that. You can also blur the background behind you. So I would be outlined where you could see me as clear as you see me now. And then you get a blurrier background behind you, which is something that you can do in software um, in, a disc in addition to masking the edges, which means if you've ever seen somebody do um, some kind of green screen effect and you kind of see on the edges of their clothes, not if like you zoom in 800%, but just normally looking like you see a hue, like just green outline to them, uh, then that means that they're not really doing that great job with the green screen and the lighting and all that. But with Ecamm, it gives you the ability to make it look seamless and extremely professional, even if um, you have some missing components there when it comes to that. But they do an amazing job when it comes to that. So let's hop back over to the other stuff. So you also um, get interviews up to five Skype guests. So let's hop over to some of the pro features that you would get that would be different than the standard, because already that's a lot of stellar features and sounds pretty good. Now, if you are familiar with the Canon M54 video series that I have done here on the channel, and I'll link that up above, you can check that out. It's a 30 part video series, breaks down a lot of tutorials and questions that I've commonly gotten about live streaming with the Canon M50. So when you look over to the pro features that it has here, then the pro features, it has this one singular feature, which I absolutely believe is like one of the number one reasons to get the pro account. And that's the virtual webcam. So with the virtual webcam, it lets you do kind of like what I'm doing right now. Not that you have to have the pro to record, but if I wanted to take this exact image and live stream in something like zoom or, you know, some kind of meeting software or what have you, and not to mention the ability to add and do all the stuff that I'm doing in real time. You don't need uh, zooms, screen sharing abilities. You don't need zooms, uh, any of that. Like if the camera is on you or the focus is on you in that meeting, you can do all those same things, you know, in real time, which is very cool. So if you have the Canon M50, and you want to be able to use that USB method, which basically use a basic USB cable and that plugs into your camera and your computer. And you want to take footage or what you're seeing something like right now and have that go into zoom through Ecamm live without buying like that Elgato cam link, then this is the way that you would do that. And that's why this pro feature, if you fit that, you know, category, then you want to do that. Now, a question that I get sometimes is like, what about if I want two cameras hooked up? You absolutely can do that as well. I've done where I've done testing for uh, two Canon M50s using the USB and it works just fine. And you can have like, so one person in your office facing one way, another person in your office facing another way. And it kind of looks like an interview or something like that. And it works out really, really cool. But if nothing else, if you just want to do meetings, zoom calls and stuff like that, then you can do that um, using Ecamm Live and share all of the same features that I've talked about before that you're doing in Ecamm Live in your actual broadcast when it comes to Zoom, which is pretty cool. When it comes to uh, this, this pro account, most of that stuff is stuff that you would see that is honestly uh, available if you're doing, again, more or less something for a company, if you're doing more complex live streams, and you need one person to kind of manage and produce the show. And then you're going to be, or the talent is going to be someplace else. Uh, for example, if you're getting, getting ready to do some kind of live streaming summit of any kind of capacity, and you're going to have somebody again, be the producer, this is something that's good for that. They'll be able to monitor the audio and the video again, everything in software, which is amazing. So let's make this realistic. For somebody that's like you or I, that's an entrepreneur, you're going to be doing live streamings for your business, maybe even some still simple live streams for your church or your ministry or whatever. And you're considering Ecamm Live, the standard or the pro account, which one is going to benefit you more? I like to have features not being excessive, but 
I like to have access to the features that I may need. So when that comes or somebody throws an idea up, we can just move on it as we need to and not have to worry about like, oh, that's not included in my subscription. So I like the pro account if for nothing else, even if you don't have need, like you're not doing complex produced shows or anything like that, I highly, highly still will recommend go ahead and then getting the pro account or if you have the standard upgrading to that so that you have access to that virtual camera. So even if you did nothing else, like I said, and you just solely want to have all of the power that Ecamm Live has in its own software and you run that from your computer, whether somebody brings you into their live stream for an interview or whether somebody brings you into a conference call or you're hosting one yourself, you have all of the power and the capabilities without having to use like Zoom software or Facebook's specific things to screen share and all of that. Like I don't need any other screen sharing abilities if I'm on a conference and somebody like, like with Zoom, for example, when you're talking, it kind of gives you that green outline and box around you to show that you're the one speaking. I don't need to ask for permission to screen share at that point. I solely would just need to go ahead and start screen sharing on my computer and do just like what I'm doing now. And everybody would see it. Even if that person hasn't granted me access to screen share within zoom. So this is where it starts to get really powerful. And you also get the ability to um, have this virtual camera so that even if again, somebody invites you to your, their YouTube live stream, YouTube doesn't have all of this built in natively into the app. Facebook doesn't have it. Almost nobody has this. And even with some other online streaming software platforms, which can do a pretty good job, I think Ecamm Live has the best stability. So it's reliable and it's dependable. It works almost flawlessly when it comes to uh, Mac uses. And it just, it just freaking works. I don't know how else to put it to you. It just freaking works. If you want more tutorials on how I'm doing some of these different things within Ecamm, and you can incorporate this into your streams for your business or for your nonprofit, or just because you're a content creator and you want to be able to use these tools to connect deeper with your audience, make sure you definitely subscribe. Gonna be doing more tutorials. And if you have one specifically that you wanna see a video on, you can leave a comment down below. But that's where I'm gonna leave it for this particular video. I think standard just is jam packed with a ton of features, but pro, is gonna give you that extra added cushion and that virtual camera feature just cannot be beat.